Hi everyone, this is a quick tip um, to help you automatically generate schemas for a table, external table, using Impala. Now this tip is uh, particularly helpful um, if you have an environment uh, that's utilizing Cloudera's distribution of Hadoop, uh, which comes with Impala, or another distribution that also comes with Impala. Now, the scenario is particularly handy, uh, not just from a dev standpoint, but uh, if you have uh, environments where you have to pull data from different uh, Hadoop clusters and that data is already in Parquet format, uh, it can be quite cumbersome trying to manually create a table schema uh, for a given Parquet format. However, using Impala's create with like Parquet syntax, we can actually um, automatically infer the schema. So let's kind of like compare and contrast and then we'll follow up with a demo. Uh, so here's the scenario. Let's say you have a Parquet a file. Uh, you need to create Hive tables for those uh, Parquet files. Um, so basically you want to create an external table. So option number one is if you're using Hive directly, uh, you'll have to manually build the schema by specifying all the column and the type. So here's an example. So you'd uh, create an external table with person and um, you'll have to specify all the types, uh, so all the columns, and you'll point, uh, of course, uh, we are assuming it's a parquet format, and you'll point it to the location in HDFS. Now, this is okay if you have a relatively uh, small table uh, with a few columns, like three columns in this case, but uh, what if uh, you have really complex types, or if you have um, uh, quite many number of columns, like say 20 or 30 columns. It, uh, it's quite cumbersome trying to uh, create these uh, scripts. Uh, the alternative, and that's what the tip uh, focuses on, is how we can use Impala to automatically infer that schema. So Impala is uh, quite intelligent uh, because uh, it's able to infer the schema. Uh, so Parquet is a self-describing format, so the, the type information is already uh, built into the Parquet file. So uh, Impala is able to look in and introspect the Parquet file and uh, uh, behind the scene uh, info that and using which we can automatically create uh, the columns uh, without having to specify. So here's uh, an example of the syntax. So again, it's an external table. Um, the keyword here is like Parquet and uh, we'll, uh, I'll elaborate more on this uh, as we go through the demo. So let's actually run uh, these commands and see it in action. Uh, so the first off, let's actually go ahead and create a table uh, in Hive, um, and then we'll do the same using Impala. So let me just copy and paste that. Uh, so uh, in my environment, I've I've already got uh, some Parquet files created. Uh, so it's under temp person. So here you can see that um, it's a Parquet file. Uh, it's uh, not partitioned, um, so it's um, in a single hierarchy folder. Um, so if I go back to Hue, um, you'll notice that um, there are no tables. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and um, run these commands. Um, so first off, um, if I go to Hive. So again, I'm 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 using uh, Beeswax from within Hue, uh, but uh, if you don't have Hue installed, you can run Beeline on the command prompt. Run that. Okay, so it's uh, created a table, and um, this is something that you're probably used to or have seen it many, many times before. Uh, so creating an external table uh, in Hive. So let's uh, run the Impala command. So for Impala, what we have to do is uh, we have to point it to the folder where we have the Parquet file. So it's exactly the same as Hive. Uh, the only d real difference is we actually have to point to uh, a physical Parquet file. So if I go back to HDFS, you can see I've listed uh, the folder in HDFS which contains all the Parquet files. So you can pick any one of these, it doesn't matter. Pick any one, all these files are self-describing. So the schema information is uh, embedded in the file. So point it to any one of these and uh, let's actually go. Make sure this time, instead of Hive, um, uh, we are running it in Impala, so go to Impala, or again, you can go to Impala Shell on the console. And um, again, uh, just so that there's no conflict, um, I'm, I'm creating a table called Person2. All right, so that's uh, created. Uh, if I refresh now, 
Uh, of course, this is uh, Impala. We'll need to invalidate metadata because it caches metadata. While that's uh, happening, let's... Uh, Oh, okay, that's finished really quickly. So here you can see this is the person table that was uh, created using Hive and the person2 table um, that was created using Impala. However, what's really interesting is that uh, if we go back to Hive here and uh, let's refresh, you can actually see that uh, even though we have created the person2 table from Impala, um, it's also available for us to use within Hive. That's because uh, both uh, um, Hive and Impala behind the scene use the same uh, meta store. Uh, so uh, even by inferring the type using like Parquet, that uh, metadata is uh, still stored in the central meta store and hence is accessible uh, using Hue as well. So uh, now I'm still in Hue, but I can issue a command or a query to uh, query this external table. So select from person 2. Let's execute that. And uh, sure enough, uh, we have some sample data that's uh, picked up from Parquet. Uh, so finally, last thing I'll point you to is uh, if, uh, again, if you have Hue, uh, you can quickly look at the meta store. Um, so let me just refresh that. So now we have the two tables that was created. So if you look at the table that was uh, created by Hive or using Hive, um, you can see that, yep, that's um, uh, the metadata behind under the hood. But uh, if you look at person two, it's uh, pretty much the same. Uh, you'll also notice that um, uh, in the comment, it's uh, actually indicating that it's uh, inferred from Parquet file. All right, so that's, uh, that kind of sums it up for this uh, quick tip on how you can automatically uh, infer schemas and uh, uh, create uh, tables uh, using Parquet. Again, more than just a, a handy developer tool, um, I've seen it mostly used when you have different um, Hadoop clusters and if you're moving Parquet files between Hadoop clusters, say for example, you're using DisCP and uh, copying files across clusters, or maybe you're moving to S3 and from S3, you're putting it into a different Hadoop cluster. Instead of running uh, a complicated um, uh, or having to spend a lot of time trying to run these uh, uh, create table commands, it's uh, quite easy to use Impala to infer the schema. Um, uh, using Parquet and then automatically generating the table schema. Uh, so that's a really quick tip, a quick time saver. Um, hope you liked the video. Look forward to seeing you on future videos.